Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Today we are going to do the final flip through of my design team project which I did for Dash of Dave. I used a quite a bit of his um, kits from his Etsy shop. So I have links in all of my videos of the papers that I actually used. So make sure you check out the description area. I will try to point to the pictures that I used from Dave's kit as I'm doing the flip through. But as you can see, she's a chunky little girl. So we're gonna get started and I'm gonna explain some of the things that I did. So here on the actual cover itself, I have pieces of wood that fall off the trees over at our apartment complex. So at points and times of the year, usually in the fall, I will pick, pick them up and then I place them off to the side. And what I do is I try to use them on journals and different stuff that I have. Like I just picked up a red leaf that I saw when I took Gabrielle outside today. So, but when I see things, cause we get a lot of pine cones and bark and you name it, we get it. So I decided to do bark, natural objects on the cover. So I covered that picture that was originally on there. It's still there, but I covered over it. Now I had found this picture in some of the ephemera that I had that I had purchased. And this was perfect because I needed a guy to be the character going through what I was thinking for the journal. So his name is Everett Payne. And what I did was I did use um, Mod Podge to cover over all of this. Also on the wood, I used Mod Podge. So <clears throat> these pieces here are pieces of fabric that I had that I cut into small pieces and I sewed them together. So they are snippet pieces that I kind of put together. And I found the ones I thought had the nicest color in it. So that's what I put on the uh, actual cover itself. So I have it tied with Sorry Silk. And I had sewn some of them together because I didn't have enough for some of them. And so that's what we have there. So as we get inside the journal, I have the apothecary because the first part is apothecary the second part is alchemy. So the story that I had in my head as I was creating this, this gentleman starts off as a doctor. He's a doctor. He starts making medicines and stuff like that. And he starts um, working with this other gentleman who actually starts telling him about alchemy. And as he's growing older and this gentleman, he starts working with him and then in the end he starts dabbling in alchemy and then i have pictures of him and the friend at the end of the journal so this is just pictures that i was able to find that i thought looked good and had to do with medicine and then this is one of dave's kits and i numbered each section of the signatures. So this is signature number one. And the way that I did this, I will show you when I get to the middle, the way I bound it in. And then I actually used my gold wax, gilding wax around there. And then I have this belo book belongs to, and then what I did was I sewed a little bit down here. I sewed all the way around this page and then this is Dave's kit this is Dave's kit and then I have two journaling cards in here and this has the some of the actual um, like Mars Venus Saturn 
some of the actual um, planets, but it has all the different symbols and stuff like that. So I thought that was appropriate to put in here. And this was also from Dave's kit. And then here I have no chemicals used. I tried to put in where I thought it was good to put like sentences or words from Tim Holtz. If I was able to find some that I thought really went well with it. Then we have Apothecary. This is part of Dave's kit. And I took, this was another part of Dave's kit, but I cut this part out so you could actually have room to journal here. Then I did some sewing here, and I did some sewing here. Now I have these two small little flap areas. And then here I have a little tag, or, or a, I guess you would call it journaling card. I did some sewing here. Then here I have the strange story. And then here I have two journaling cards. And this Graves Pectoral Compound, Coughs, Colds, Hoarseness, etc. So this is, and it says Madison Ave Pharmacy. And then I have Apothecary here. And then this is a Deadly Elixir. So basically, the way that I was thinking about it was, he was a doctor, but he was starting to dabble with different types of deadly elixirs and stuff like that and then i have this is another little type of journaling card the delicious stimulant tonic and appetizer samford's extract jamaica ginger and then this just fits in here and you have plenty of room to journal there and i put some ribbon and then here you have plenty of room for journaling. This page flips out. So we have a journaling card here that I did a little bit of sewing on. I did some sewing here. So I have some fabric and stuff here. And then I have this tag and I have some fabric and I sewed across. So those go in there. And then when you open it up, I have this here. And I did do some sewing on this. And then this I have um, some leaf trim. And then I have two long tags in here. And I did sewing across. And that just stays on, on the outside. This fits over the top. I always try to do that. I like when that happens I like when it comes over the top so the way I have it in here is I just have this stuck in here and I just have it clipped on for right now okay and then here we have again this is all Dave's kit all this this is from Dave's kit this is from Dave's kit and again we have some journaling space and we have some journaling cards here and again we have some journaling space and then this I had from um, something I think I found on the internet I'm not sure where I found it I think it was in the public domain if I'm not mistaken because I only print stuff from the public domain if I didn't purchase it from somebody and then here we have two different things this is Dave's kit I have this was from Dave's kit I have skull and crossbones and this was a elixir that he had been working on and again we have places to journal and then we have this envelope and it says beware and it says poison and it has um, ladies and gentlemen's druggist and then here on the inside is some of the um, descriptions of what he actually was working on and it's all in Latin.
and then he hides it away in this envelope. So he hopes that nobody will find it. And then I just put this together with this. And then again, this was from Dave's kit. I just basically added a little bit of lace on there. And again, this is from Dave's kit. And then here I put conjure. And then here on most of the, on a lot of the pages, I have these different apothecary, they're basically elixirs. And this one says ghoulish mash, mash, brains and brine. So these have the elastic centers. So you can pull out the signatures, okay? Just be careful with the ones with just the paper, the thin paper, because they will rip. But this is Dave's kit as well. Dave's kit and then I have a beautiful garden because I I had it in my head that the gentleman had a garden outside of his store and that's where he would get a lot of his flowers and herbs and spices and stuff for the elixirs that he was working on okay I'm sorry I'm drinking my tea my throat has been bothering me and then this again was from Dave's kit. And I have some lace down here on the bottom. So we have lace here, lace here. And then I had something for here. Oh, wait, I know where this goes. That's where that went. Hold on. This goes there. That goes there. I thought I was like missing a place. I'm like, wait, I know I had places for all this stuff. There, that goes there. All right, I feel better now. Okay. And again, we have Raven and Crow Apothecary, and this is Potion of Time. So basically, he's created a potion of time. And then here we have one of these cards that has one of the plants that he works with. And then this is part of Dave's kit. I did sew around it. And then we have journaling space. And again, Dave's kit. This was from Dave's kit. I took, um, I can't remember which kit they were from, but he has a bunch of bottles. And what I did was I put them onto heavy cardstock and cut them out because I want them to be on a couple of different pages. So this one I actually put next to this one. It's the Drought of Blossom Finest Potions. And then again over here, this is from Dave's kit. And I have these two little tags, or two little journaling cards, whatever you want to call them. Dave's kit. And I just added some washi tape. This is from Dave's kit. And then I have a periodic table of the elements because now we're starting to go into the alchemy section. And we have the Apothecary uh, Dragon's Claw. And then here we have a couple of different things. We have a little journaling card. And then this was like a part of a, um, I don't know, paper thing that he would write prescriptions and stuff on and then I have this is um, the house surgeon and physician to assist heads of families travelers and seafaring people discerning distinguishing and curing diseases with concise directions the best American remedies so I added that in there and then we have this and then we have this. Again, this is Dave's Digitals. And I did some sewing here. And again, this is from Dave's Digital. This was from Dave's Digital. Then I used some washi tape. This is from Dave's Digital. I made again that little flip out. Used some washi tape. 
This was from Dave's Digital. I did some sewing. And then this was from Dave's Digital. Dave's kit. Dave's paper, journaling, more sewing. More journaling spot with the sewing. So now we're going into section number two. So signature number two. I have a little bit more of the tree bark on here. And again, like I said, I did do um, Mod Podge on them. So they are Mod Podged. So we have journaling here. And then we have a journaling card here. And that's all from Dave's kit. And then here I made a tiny little card. And then I put the number seven, just thinking that maybe seven was his lucky number. And then this is from Dave's kit. And I used, again, a little bit of wood. And I have a sticker with a um, leaf on there. And then here, again, I used my fabric snippet roll. And I place that on the edge of this, and then I add one of uh, Dave's bottles, and then I added a couple little Tim Holtz pieces, flowers and tickets and stuff like that. And then here I have the seven glass for all your fine potions apothecary with a little bit of lace on black cardstock. This opens up, so you have journaling here. This is all from Dave's kit, and again, this is more of his notes that he was writing out for some of his potions. And again, we have bottles and stuff from Dave's kit. This was a sticker that I had and I just thought of the berries, that those might be berries that he had picked for uh, making one of his potions. Okay, and then here, again, we have journaling spots behind, but I have this card here, and you could use that for journaling. And then here it says, training of the imagination, because now here he's starting to work with this gentleman, this older gentleman, and he's starting to learn the trade of um, apothecary. So, or not apothecary, oh Jesus. He's starting to learn alchemy from this older gentleman. So now we, ha we have little parts in here where he's scribbling stuff about potions or stuff in alchemy that he's trying to learn. And then we have all of these things because now he's got to try and start to learn things about the um, astrology and stuff like that. So we have that. And then we have this little card. And then here again, I have another pullout that you could journal on. More journaling space. And then this is again, Dave's kit. Journaling space, journaling space. And then we have a card here. And then you could journal here. All more journaling spots, journaling. Then we have Raven and Crow Apothecary Elixir of Rage. And again, you have that same where you can pull the papers out, add papers in, take papers out. Then here I have, he must have gone crazy. And I have that because he must have gone crazy from having a really good job with being a doctor and doing you know potions to help cure people and now he's turning kind of to the dark side and then we have elixir of influence and again we have another bottle more journaling spots and then here this says the genuine oil of worm seed and it gives you a little bit of description on worm seed and then again 
this was um, a receipt that he had received. And again, here is some him writing stuff out on a piece of paper. And it looks like he was writing to the other older gentleman. And then here I have the card of mystery. Then this pulls out or pops open and then you have all of this to journal. And then we have the um, Apothecary Small Batch Snake Venom Toxic and Poison. And then again, we have a card and it has different florals and stuff that I thought maybe were in his garden. And again, we have journaling spots here. This is all coffee dyed paper by me. And then this is Dave's kit. Dave's kit. Again, we have another one of those little flips. Some journaling spots. And then we have these little journaling cards. And then this says, his curiosity is fully awake. And then this is an envelope flip. And then I have a little bit of a little curtain there. And then this opens and we have a card in here. Ooh. And again, I have more of that spider web webbing here. And then I just added on some pieces here. And it says collector of curiosities. And then again here, we have um, notes or letters from the older gentleman back and forth again. From Dave's kit. Then here, what I did was I created a pull apart. So you can pull, you have all these different papers that you can write on. And there's quite a bit here. I wanted to make sure there was plenty of writing space in this journal. We have all different types of paper here. And then this is the back part. And again, I used some of my um, fabric snippet for up on top. And then again here we have the envelope and in here again we have some notes that he's taken on some of his projects that he's working on and that closes up then i did some sewing here i sewed all the way around here and then here we have changing the frequency of thought alternating altering the harmonics of matter and applying the element of love to create a desired result. So I have that in here. And then this whole section here is section three. So this is signature three. So this is all the alchemy stuff that he's now working on. Again, I have the fabric snippet that I had made and I added a couple of pieces here. And then this has some fabric behind it. Places to journal. And then here we start having different areas of where he is starting to really apply his trade. So he's, he's already learned different stuff on things to do with the universe and what he needs to do to put his intent into things. And then here we have the escape flask custom potions. And then we have a little alchemy card. And then this has astronomical calculations on it. Oh, I have to get rid of that number three. <laughs> I have to find my thing. And then here he has some calculations here 
And then this is a cute page, which I kind of thought of him and his older friend who was teaching him alchemy. I thought that was really cute. So you have all of that to journal on. So I have that in here. Okay. And then here I added some gold because now you're starting to work with um, turning different matter into gold. So there's some gold on here. And again, stuff that he had been working with. And then this is him as an older gentleman. And he's still working at his trade. And then you have all that to journal on. Then I have a candle and I put a sticker with a magnifying glass because he's older now, so he kind of needs to use a magnifying glass to see. And I have beware. Again, he's got stuff for um, different parts of astronomy and stuff in here. And you have all this journaling space. Then here again, we have my uh, fabric snippet and I added just a piece of ephemera here. And this is um, from a Neeland physician and surgeon. And then this I did some spraying on with my um, distress stains. And this just had some symbols and stuff that he had to learn. and. This was all information that he had to learn. Okay. And again, stuff for um, astronomy. More places to journal. More places to journal. And then in the center part, again, this is all different things that has to do with astronomy. And then more places to journal. And then I have a little journaling card here. And we have another envelope here. Oh, did I not? Oh, I didn't put anything in there. I'll have to make something to put in there. I thought I had everything. And then again, we have back page of, we have more of my fabric snippets. And this is the table of the skeleton. And it talks about the head, the trunk, and the limbs of the body. And then here we have this, I'm not sure, I think that's Latin, but I'm not sure. So you have that to journal on more journaling space and then here we have alchemy again and then this is like that big piece that i have in the front that had the um two long tags in it i just have a smaller version but i wanted there to be more journaling space so that's why i did that more journaling space. Again, we have more notes that he's written in his book. And then this is stuff that I guess he had been working on. It's part of um, philosophy, I guess. I can't read Latin. And again, we have parts of astronomy and the cycles of the moon. This is the alchemical symbols, the four elements, the planets and the metals, signs of the zodiac, and then other signs like salt, sulfur, uh, death, and I don't know what that is. This flips open, and then we have this here, this sign here, with different symbols and stuff on it, and it has a dragon going to eat its tail and then there's a long sword in between. 
And then again, I put another moon here. More journaling. So as you can see, the one in the back, the third signature has a lot of journaling. And again, I have an area where he was, he was writing out some stuff and he hastily kind of cut it apart. So you can't see the whole entire por part of the portions and um, all the different, you know, if it was a tablespoon, teaspoon, cups, you know, you can't see the whole recipe of what he was working on. And again, I have a picture of him as he was growing much older and he has an apprentice in the back, a young boy. This opens. And this is all coffee dyed paper that this is on, printed on. So you have plenty of places to journal. And this is the last page. And then again in the back, I have the alchemo. I cannot talk with this throat today. Alchemical symbols, oh, a reference guide. And then this has all the different symbols and stuff. So, and that's how I put that in the back. And then what I did was I put fabric in the spine here where I actually put the elastic. And then I have this on the back, and that was part of Dave's kit as well. And that's where I had tied off everything. So these are tied off and glued. So these are not going anywhere. And that's how I have them um, tied into the actual piece itself for the signatures. And then, like I said, we have this. It's got some green, it's got some teal, dark blue, some black. And that is it. So that is my flip through of Everett Payne's journal. So I will be selling this. Actually, I decided that I'm not gonna sell this. I'm gonna do this as a giveaway. So we're gonna give this away. The way that we're gonna do this is you're gonna have up until December 17th, which is a Saturday, up until midnight Eastern Standard Time. You must be a subscriber to my channel. You must like this video and in this video I would like you to comment what you liked the most about this journal what elements whatever you thought you liked the most about what I put into this journal and as long as you do that by December 17th what I will do is I will make sure I'm going to use my um, iPad. We'll put all of you into um, one of those programs that will actually pick the winner. And then I will send this out to whoever wins. And this will be an early Christmas gift to all of you, my subscribers. And again, I cannot say thank you enough for all of you being here. I am thankful for all of you that have joined my channel. Without you, you know, I probably wouldn't do this. So I want to say thank you very, very much for being here for me. Okay. And good luck. And like I said, make sure that you're a subscriber. And if you don't know anybody, you know, who, or if you do know somebody who isn't subscribed to my channel, you know, tell them to come on over and, you know, hopefully they'll like my content and stay. But um, I, I'm really hoping that somebody that's been with me for for a while now, I'm, I'm really hoping that you guys, you know, take part in this because you've there's been some people that have been with me for a very, very long time. So, but 
Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, everybody, and I will see you on my next video. Take care, everybody, and good luck.